Alright, this tutorial continues where the other one left off and we made this icon up here or down here which is a program Zoom that I was used in a video conferencing call and we made the tutorial about how to make a savvy flexible icon which is working um, what did I do? I just rebooted and that's all I did I guess so it's just some matter of cache or something like that what does happen if you run a program that it often has its own icon up here so the software engineer has made something up there to, to, to fix it to probably in hard code it that it's there so that's um, an issue uh, that you will have to live with but anyway if you press or little programs or apps or things like that it will have the Saturday icon it will be okay the rest um, of the tutorial, the rest of the creation, is actually going uh, over all the rest of the icons. And it's also an interesting way, let's have a look, open recent, zoom SVG. So, this is what we created in the other tutorial, and we're going to make now other ones, meaning file save as. We always start with study flexible on the blue one. Then I go to um, level up. Then I go to the mono ones, mono, scalable, apps, save. Why do I save? Because it's still blue. Well, first off, I made a mistake. I want to save in a particular way, optimized with SVGO. There is SVG with lots of kilobytes is exaggerated, but if, if I save it like this, in the end, it will mean, save me megabytes of, of um, uh, space if I save it with optimized with SVGO. Save. A lot of things like clean up, remove this, remove that, remove this, remove that. Okay, it sets and I replace it. Of course, we're still on the mono, so it's this is not mono. So I click here and then you can go this way, that way. Easiest way is this. This is mono. But it should go all the way, otherwise you still have this color, hint of color. So I want to have it mono, gray, gray. So I just decide whatever color I want to have. And I press sh Ctrl Shift S. Yep, my screen key is not active. So let's activate it again. So Ctrl Shift, save. Select file, it's optimized SVG, save. Okay replace so now the blue one is this one next up that's number two save as icons sardi scalable apps colors all kinds of colors okay save okay control z control z save it has to be blue anyway why am i saying that because the application itself is blue. Let's have a look. We can still see it in the icon up here. This is a bluish kind of icon. So, in fact, we can leave everything as it was. It needs to be blue. But if you don't like the blue, then you just hover over here. Tell him that this element should be colorized, as you see. And often I just click uh, to find the color that suits me. But in this case, I think the blue it should stay near to the, the blue that's on there. So you're the boss. You just create the colors of your icons with these tools down here. Oh yeah, where are these tools? Maybe you don't have them. So they are in here somewhere, um, probably hidden. So this is 1920 on 1080 pixels. So I see a lot of icons, but some of sometimes on laptops you are just hidden down there somewhere. So activating the fill and stroke is what you need, or Shift Control F. Okay, so we've now chosen our blue, or can be light blue. Okay, that's it. Save it. This is gonna be our blue. Replace. That's the Sardi icon. Save as. Icon, Sardi flat, Sardi flat. This has been my idea. Indeed, there is this tendency. 
control shift s eric there's this tendency to uh, take flat icons so okay i followed uh, the notion or followed the idea and i said flat is without this without that without that and without that nah, it's flat control shift save can't get any flatter file save as that's flat so this one that one you started here we should go now first actually to save the orb color and just save this save like so and gone i have a script that makes the ring around the orb color and that's that will be that save as icons and then go to the Sardi Ghost Flexible, which is all white. Apps, as you can see, all white. So, okay, save. Okay, get rid of this thing. And now we have white on white, which is very, you can see, of course, very clear that it's white on white. Just maneuver it a bit in the center, save it. And I'll see it on my dark screen later on replace control z control z control z and file save as don't forget the surfing icons surfing scalable apps scalable save and i'll reuse this icon for the surfing icons and if i do want to make a difference i can change maybe a little bit the color and be done with it and that's our creation final steps I take to make the uh, icons. Well, there's another. It's saved, so cancel. I don't know. Close with the saving. There is indeed a final step more. So this is a little icon we're talking about. Um, let's go to the file manager, to the icons. Of course, you don't have all these things. But if you want to help me and make study icons here and, and deliver them to me, only thing I need is this blue one and I'll make all the others myself. So, like I told you, I'm going to make the make Sardi Orb Color. I have this little script, so I have to fix that as well. Make Sardi. Voila. T type the name. No SVG. Zoom. Done. We'll check out later. And what else do I need to do? I need to run the icon cache and make a version 6. It's going to replace all the icon cache uh, elements. It's kind of, well, cache for your icons. And there you go. The cache file created successfully. All these things up here have their own cache file. That being said, we can now change our icon theme and see if this icon theme there changes. So XFCE. We were starting with this one, Flexible Colora. Uh, let's go to the first one, which is Sardi. And then close. So this does not look good. Never mind. Let's close it. Let's have a check. Let's have a check. Um, first off, Alt F3. Let's use another menu again. See what went wrong. Oh, it's always interesting to be the detective. Oh yeah, that's actually what I want to do first. So go to icons, type here, and then type zoom. And then see. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I already know what uh, went wrong. Remember in the other tutorial, we had to make, oops, we had to make a um, link. Oh yes. There is no link to the PNG. So what we're missing. Oh yeah, we can do this like so. So yeah, all the icons are here. I need to edit the zoom from Orbi Calora. This is okay. It's this that's not okay. I do want it to be a little bit smaller. Hey, where's my screen fetch? Now I notice. So I was pressing Ctrl Shift and then make it smaller. And then save. Okay, here it is. 
save. So that's fixed. Sometimes you have to make it a little bit manually. So it's nice in the circle. So this uh, script makes the line, these lines everywhere in the same pixel, same place, no difference between them. So that's that. Okay, it's saved already, my friend. So we have this one, that one, that one, that's the mono one, that one. Everything works fine. The only thing we're missing is, remember in the other tutorial, the zoom. Ooh, la, 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 la. Let's try again. Oh, it's looking for all the A's. Here underneath, he's searching very hard to find his A's. Can take a while before I have back control. Too bad. Okay, solution. Super escape. Kill. Alt F2. Let's do another one. Nemo is already in there. And there we are. Isn't life easy on Arch Labs? So, I was going to tell you that we're missing something. We're missing big Z O O M dot PNG. This one. Control C. Why make another terminal command when I can do scalable apps? Control V. Want to check? Zoom. There is my zoom. F5. Push him. No, it doesn't want to be pushed. You'll find it later. I will create the icon on a later moment. He's unloading all these icons. Uh, 30,000 or more, I don't know. We'll just check in a bit how many icons actually per sort of theme. So I'll be flexible. That's okay. Don't go there. That's okay. So I'd be ghost flexible. Needs to have an icon. And so I'd be ghost flexible. Blah, 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 blah. Mono needs to have one. And this one. That's better. So here's the zoom PNG. Anyway, let's check again. If I oom, <laughs> if I oom things, oh, a lot of ooms. Why am I ooming? Because of the Z, big Z, and and so on. So it's too difficult to see. Let's do a zoom dot png. As you see, everything works. It just doesn't know yet that it works. Um, or did I do something wrong? Let's check. He's going to the zoom SVG. No, looks good. So, next up, recreating my cache files. And it's called icon something, I thought. Oops, sorry. That's an peak icon cache maker. Oh, it says so. Done. Now this icon should oh, change. Oh, there it is. So the new cache has, has been created. He finds this zoom with a big z.png, points to the zoom.svg, and with this new cache, and now we can have some fun and check the other looks. Meaning you go to here, to icons. So I'm only gonna check the ones that matter. Side so flat, that's this one. Side so flexible, that's what we started with. Side so ghost flexible is this look. Hmm. Need to meet, make the lines a bit thicker, I feel, in respect to the others. Sadly, so mono arch laps is looking good. And the orb color. Voila. And we forgot our little friend surfing. No. It's okay. No, it is not okay. We forgot the link to surfing. So, again, some work. I hope it's still in the control C, control V. Let's have a look. It's 
scalable apps scalable control V. Let's see if we still have the zoom. Z oh Z here it is. That's the zoom. I need the other one. The big Z. Oops, what did I copy then? I hope I didn't break anything. Anyway, so super form file manager. I go to the icons to the Sally. Any icon, anything is good now. Wow, we can also well make a little tutorial about the link and making links. So ln minus s zoom svg and then we can zoom dot png telling him if you find zoom png they ask you to give to provide a picture of the zoom png and you show this one voila done since surfing is the basis and everything depends on it everything should be fixed the only thing i should do is you guessed it i can cache again for this one Oof, done and then we go over here and there you go we have now this zoom.png that is pointing to the svg and we have our own icons and i can save them and put them online surface goes on github and sadi goes on sourceforge why because a sadi folder has oh my god i thought it was 3000 has 7,794 items. At some point in time, I uploaded the items of the icons on GitHub. I put on there 35,000, and when I downloaded it from GitHub, I got 30,000. So there seems to be some kind of zip bug around, and I've contacted the guys. Don't know if that's fixed, but in the meantime, I, I, will, I just will stick to the source for so everything is on there. So that uh, concludes the tutorial. That's what I do after creation of Sadly Flexible. So if you want to contribute, then you start to just give me one thing and you go to Sadly Flexible Scalable Apps. If it's an app, of course, then you find the default icon and you start with this one. You change it, you make a white, white icon theme. You Take a look at the other ones and say okay i wanna i wanna keep the style of saturday and that's it and just give them to me on the github of saturday and i'll start making the other five all right have fun creating icons